I don't know if you can see that. We are choking off. Look at this. Smoke. Smoke. Like my 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 was already like, I'm out of here. Um this is bad. Uh if you haven't been following the fires, the fires are bad this year. Um, I just came from British Columbia. In fact, I was hiking Gibraltar Ridge. On fire. On fire. That's where I got the flat tire. Completely on fire. Luckily, I was not there. But I come back and look at this. We are on fire. Um, I actually left to go get some refuge from the smoke. And I went up to British Columbia. had one clear day, right? And then I come back and look at this. The air quality is, it, we're at high alert. High alert, severe. Severe high alert. And, uh, I mean, in fact, I have a couple of days off. I don't know, four or five days off. And there's no place to go. There's no, there's no place to go. You can't, you can't, you can't escape from this. The whole Pacific Northwest is on fire. British Columbia is on fire. Watch, watch how smart Mario is. He'll see, look how he, try, he tries to lift. He tries to lift those up to get the rabbit out. He's so smart. Now, he never gets the rabbit. <laughs> He's only gotten one in his life, and that I actually caught on film. <laughs> but he is something else. Look at him. Come on, Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario, 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 Mario. See how you don't listen. He's like, Mario, 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 Mario. Let's we gotta even be. We gotta look at look at this. Yeah, he's 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 acting like the dog. We gotta leave him be. And he's got all the dogs in the neighborhood morado. You hear the other dogs? All the dogs. Okay. Oh now Jake's gonna be barking. Okay. Alright, now I got I gotta get him. Hold so now that Mario has riled up every dog, <laughs> every dog, well, well, we've got to carry him away. We carry you away. There you go. Okay, come on, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. You're all riled up. And now, now there's a cat. Now there's a cat. Oh. Now there's people walking. <laughs> there's a cat, and there's people walking, and everybody's wearing masks. Come on, brother. Come on. Okay, so back to this horrible look at this. Um, and they're out there walking around in, in masks. Yeah. Um, they're not evacuating, at least not that I heard. Well, this is all caused from forest fires. And for the most part, they'll let those fires just keep burning. Things are extremely dry. It happens every August. Um, and things just go up just like that. Just, just like that. It's horrible. There's bans on, obviously, campfires. There's bans on smoking. They put bans on ATV use. They put bans on every, every, everything. Uh, the, you know, the rivers are low. The, uh, the, the lakes are low. Everything's low. It just, everything just dry. This is, this is what happens. It, it just dries up. But look at that. Uh, and I, you know, when I was up in the homestead, I, I did a lot of videotaping during the fires. And a lot of people asked us, you know, what do you do for fire prevention uh, so your house doesn't burn down? And, you know, I walked the neighborhood here and, you know, everybody's at risk. When it comes to fires, everybody's at risk. But the bottom line is most of these fires are contained to the uh, wilderness. But the thing is we have these winds that come from uh, the mountains. We've got different jet streams and uh, you know they're burning in Oregon and Washington and it'll affect us over here. They're burning uh, up in uh, Banff right now and it'll affect us here. It just depends on where where the winds are going. But we do have, um, we're surrounded and we have some of our own fires going too. Now our ER is really busy uh, this last week. It was 90 degrees and we had a lot of heat exhaustion from, oh you're so good, from um, you know the firefighters were coming in. And, you know, those guys are just awesome. Those guys are awesome. Uh, they're out there and they're fighting those fires and it's 90 some degrees and I don't know how they do it. Um, I don't know how they do it. But every year they're out there and, and they're, they're, fighting those, they're fighting those fires. But even as I'm out here trying to breathe, it's hard. 
it is really it bothers me and it bothers me because not only is the breathing difficult but uh you can't see anything you can't see anything and i i don't like that i feel, I feel you feel like you're you're in a fishbowl you feel like you're in a fishbowl and I'm, I'm not used to that i'm used to looking at the the wide open range and in the mountains and and they're gone they're completely gone it, it's it just kind of w- wigs me out a little bit Oh, and here, here is something that's really interesting. When I, when I got up this morning to go to work, it was freezing cold. Freezing cold, and I got out on the highway, and it was like this, the dark. Um, I was thinking, this is crazy. This is like twilight zone. Ooh, ooh. And when I got to work, um, one of the gals reminded me the reason why it's cold is because the sun they're, they're, the sun can't penetrate the, the smoke. So there's probably sun out there. It's not penetrating anything. And we have dropped 20 degrees. 20 degrees because of the smoke cover. Yeah, boy, I'm really getting a headache. What about you, little, little Mario? Are you all done chasing, chasing those rabbits and then you're eyeing up that cat? Ah, uh, but around, around here, you know, I'm in this, this little apartment. How do I prepare? <laughs> You know, I've got my, my uh, I always got like a bug out bag, and I don't know if I call it a bug out bag, but you know, I've got, got a bag, I'm ready to go. My car's always ready to go. You know, it's got my camping, camping stuff in it so I could live out of my car. Um, you know, what, there's a lot of stuff you don't see. Uh, in fact, even when I do my, my camping videos, uh, it, it, you know, I always make the mistake of assuming people are getting that where, where I'm going. I'm really not bushwhacking. I'm really not um, um, completely off trail. I never go off trail. Um, I'm, I'm you know alone 100% in the wilderness. Where I go, I am choosing trails that are well marked, um, that I have uh, medical access to if something would happen. You know, I think about those things as um, with my training and I am in the wilderness um, and you know I am I am pretty far back in but there is access um, and you know people people hike all the time Pacific Northwest Trail they the Appalachian Trail um, people get hurt yeah a, a bear attacks happen yeah but you can't stop that from you can't have that stop you from living life i mean if that's the case every time you get in the car you may get hit you 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 have more chances of getting hit in a car and killed than you do something happening when you're camping or hiking so but i i do really take precautions and i think the last video i posted with with myself camping a lot of questions about what i carry and um i carry stuff lots of stuff so the, you know there i always have the element of uh, protection uh surprise and um, disaster <laughs> covered. I do, I do. So, all right, we're we're gonna we're gonna head back to the apartment. This is this is choking. But we we are. I don't know if they call it a state of emergency yet, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next couple of days because I'm already getting a headache and uh, people with asthma and COPD and bronchitis. This is gonna kill them. This is where the ERs start filling up. All right, say good, say goodbye, Mario, and um, God bless you guys, and say prayers for all those firefighters who are really working hard at um, fighting those fires and risking their lives. So far, I haven't heard any lives lost yet. Um, haven't heard too much about any homes lost yet, uh, but it's so widespread. I can't keep track of all the fires. I'll show you a map before I close. I close this video. Um, you know, before this video comes to an end. All right, God bless.